Hey y'all, we're not even about to waste no time. So if y'all know, I gave birth in August. Pole dancing was essentially a way for me to heal my mind, body, and spirit after giving birth. Like people don't understand that when you give birth, you're essentially a new person. You're not the person that you used to be. So it's like, I didn't want to be just this herbalist. I didn't want to just be mom. I didn't want to just be, I didn't want to be who essentially I was before giving birth. So pole dancing was a way for me to recreate myself, if that makes sense. I was able to ground myself better in pole dancing. I felt that I was essentially needing another outlet for me to be an artist. Because when you think about pole, you're a fucking artist. You are literally using your body and creating movement. And people don't, this is what I tell people, herbs are not the only way to heal. Breath work is not the only way to heal. Use many things, okay? Dancing is another outlet that I have, essentially for me to get out of this place. <laughs> when I go to pole class, I'm flowing, okay? The biggest lesson that Spirit was trying to communicate to me post-pregnancy was the fact that I didn't know how to flow. <laughs> I didn't have the feminine energy that I thought I had. Like, that's why I tell people, you're healing. You're never healed, okay? So along my postpartum, I was shown where I didn't have the ability to flow. I didn't have the ability to release control, right? and pole dancing teaches you where you're not flowing well okay because of course when i first got into pole you try to learn this trick you try to learn this trick and all these cool different spins but never how to put it together and create this beautiful flow so now within my pole journey that's what i'm learning i'm learning to flow more with my body i'm learning not to be so confined and to release control that's the that's the most beautiful thing about pole is the intuitive movement okay because a part of the divine feminine is that strong connection with your intuition you just know same reason why you know in certain things that women do we just be knowing like intuition is so important when it comes to the divine feminine just life in general that you just need to trust your intuition so pole dance is definitely getting me to trust self okay because you got to trust the pole but you got to trust self to know where the pole is you get what i'm saying so pole is essentially showing me within my life even lessons like where i'm not releasing control where i'm not just going with the flow where i'm not just intuitively in my space creating intuitively loving intuitively you know what i'm saying so when i'm pole dancing i'm in this position of love like i feel like i'm flowing in my intuition which is then you know taking care of myself taking care of my body and loving my body right because a part of it too i used to not like my body like now i'm starting to fully love my body show up in all aspects of my body having this piece of back fat showing it's like pole is showing me love it and love all of it a big part of pole dancing of course is it's fitness I was starting to get bored with going to the gym. The gym was starting to be too mundane, too masculine. It's a very, going to the gym and lifting weight for me, for me, was very masculine. Having Sapphire show me that I did not have the feminine energy that I thought I had. So connecting back to dance, right? And connecting back to this free flowing movement I am now able to kind of curbside some of the masculine energy that I do where I find that balance, you know. And that's what this journey, that's what this new path is showing me. But if you guys want to see more pole stuff, I'm going to start posting it a little bit on YouTube. But I do post a little bit on That Girl Vani. As y'all all know, that page is my personal platform, V's Hidden Gems is my holistic e-shop so if you're interested in herbal healing holistic wellness breath work different courses all that good jazz follow that platform
bathroom, okay? That girl Vani is for my personal likes, which I have so many. I love so many different things, but that's what I'm gonna start showing here on YouTube. Like YouTube is just gonna be my dump for all of the things that I do because I have so many. But that's what I'm starting to realize is the importance of having those outlets because you essentially are going to want to be a transmuter a big part of your healing journey is being able to take pain or being able to take whatever challenge discrepancy you have and make magic out of that bitch you gotta make it beautiful take the pain and make it into some type of art now, everybody's art mediums are going to be different some people like sports some people like Poetry, some people like spoken words, some people like rap, some people like dance, some people like many different mediums, you know what I'm saying? So that's what art has shown me, that's what dance has shown me, music has shown me. And I'm now starting to walk back into those many hobbies that I've always liked to do. I've always liked to do so many different things. But again, guys, thank you so much. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and be sure to leave a comment and tell me what you liked about this video and what you want to see more from me. So have a good day, guys. See you next time.